In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use QLab's MIDI timecode generator to trigger OSC timecode events in MadMapper. To do this, you'll need an active license. Let's get started. I'm gonna make a new workspace. Generate timecode. If I hit spacebar, go to timecode, you'll see that we have a timecode going out. The settings for that can be adjusted here. If you'll notice, I am actually routing mine through the IAC driver bus. In order to do that, you're gonna to have to go to the audio MIDI setup. Select the window at the top that says show MIDI studio. Double click on the IAC driver and make sure it's enabled. If it's not enabled, you're not gonna be able to bring the time code back into QLab. Now that that's done, I'm gonna make a new queue list. I'm gonna take the time code settings, trigger by time code, select bus one because that's where the time code's coming in. If you'll notice now it says incoming time code. And then I'm gonna make something that will trigger an OSC event. So let's go over here to Mad Mapper. Make a new layer. Let's take the opacity on this one for instance. Right click, copy OSC address. Go back, paste it, add a variable. Add a fade, let's do two seconds. And in the settings, under network, we're gonna have to make this so that it goes into MadMapper's OSC, port 8000. Make sure that this duration saves. Now we can give it a test. So you'll notice over two seconds, it's going from zero to one, or if we want one to zero. So now I'll take this, let's try that again. I'm gonna make it so that it triggers at a MIDI time code. Let's just say two seconds. I'm gonna go into the active queue, MIDI time code, cancel it. Now we're waiting. And I'm going to start. You know, if you'll notice, there it is, two seconds later. All right, so from this, you can just create a bunch of different cues, trigger pretty much anything you want in Mad Mapper or any other program that uses OSC. I hope you found this helpful.